Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install a series of zero lot line homes that will allow you to deliver Torrance Tidal independent wall construction. This system gives you the option of traditional building contracts but without the large capital investment up front. If you're thinking of designing and building row housing, you can use this system to construct alternate homes and build the fillings later. You'll have flexibility and won't have to fund all the builds before they're sold, helping you optimise cash flow. Using Hardy Smart Zero Lot System will give you a fully detached row of housing. The Zero Lot wall system comprises of two Hardy Smart fire rated walls built back to back. If you're building on greenfield land, at least one of the walls is built modularly. If you're doing infields, Hardy Smart fire rated wall can be built modularly against an existing wall. So the key thing to ask yourself when building a zero lot home is will this wall function when the neighbouring wall is knocked down? For example, will it achieve fire, thermal, weather, durability, acoustic and structural performance? First decide if you need the single or double zero lot configuration. Dual zero lot is used for detached row housing, while single zero lot is used to build a new wall against an existing structure. If you're constructing a dual zero lot system, one wall can be built with the standard construction methods and the adjacent wall needs to be built in modules. The wall modules can be built in situ or prefabricated. Before you install the zero lot wall panel, remember to maintain a minimum of 10 mm separation using a flexible bond breaker between the slab on each lot to retain independence. And make sure you install a termite barrier in accordance with the local regulations. Refer to the zero lot wall system manual for the detailed construction sequence. When you finish your prep, you're ready to start installing your panels. Most importantly, safety first. Always wear your standard PPE, your P1 or P2 dust mask, and always work in a well-ventilated area. Let people in the immediate area know that there could be dust and never use a power saw indoors. And when using a power saw, always have a dust extracting system connected to your saw. For more details, check out the James Hardy Safety Guide Sheet.